Hello, my name is Robert Maroney, and I am the Warehouse Pit Safety Instructor for Belmar Integrated Logistics Distribution Training Center. Today, I'm going to demonstrate the functions of the EPJ, the electric pallet jack, and how to operate it safely. Before we get started, we want to do a pre-operations check of the EPJ, the electric pallet jack. This is to be done at the beginning of each shift. At the facility, you have a physical checklist or your equipment would have an onboard computer that would have a checklist that would need to be completed before you start to work. As you're going down your list, you uh, mark the appropriate uh, boxes to whether each item checked is operational or not. If while you're going down your list, the wrench light or the battery light stays on, this means that there is something wrong with your equipment and it needs to be locked out and tagged out and reported to your manager or your supervisor. These are the controls of the electric pallet jack, the EPJ. This is your, your control arm. Your control arm controls your turning left, turning right, it controls your direction of going forward and reverse. It also has an emergency stop going all the way up or going all the way down. It also controls your forks to go up and down. It also controls your speed uh, to whether you want to go slower or faster. And the most important part, it has a horn. The horn allows people to know that you are in the area, whether they see you or not. You also have a grab bar. This helps you stabilize yourself on the platform. Um, so as you're going, you will not lose your balance and fall off. It also has controls to uh, control your forks to go up and down, and it also has a horn. It also has a rabbit control that will allow you to go just a little bit faster, but I don't recommend the use of this because equipment already set at a speed for the, the warehouse where it's at. Um, this here's your load backrest. This here stabilizes your load as uh, you transport in it, and your forks are used to pick up your load so it can be transported. Now I'm gonna take my break, <laughs> and so Chris can come and tell us about the safety tips when operating the electric pallet jack, the EPJ. Here are five important tips that you should always remember when operating an electric pallet jack. First, never even get on any equipment unless you have been trained and certified to do so. Before it's time to get on the equipment, always be sure to do a pre-trip condition report on the jack that you will be using to make sure it's in good working order and safe to use. When on the jack, be sure to always have your feet securely on the platform, never with your toes or heels hanging off the edge as they can easily be struck by something if you get too close to an object or collide with a rack, post, or another piece of equipment. This could lead to a serious injury to your ankle or your foot. When on the electric pallet jack, you should never let go of the grab bar until you are ready to step off the jack. Holding on to the grab bar is how you will safely stay on the equipment, especially through turns. Never let go of the grab bar to jump from the equipment if you ever lose control of the jack. This can result in serious injury. To avoid losing control of the equipment, always be mindful of your speed. Operating at unsafe speeds can cause collisions with pedestrians or other equipment operators if they come into your lane of travel as the higher speed will decrease braking distance. Traveling at a high speed also increases the risk of losing control of the equipment, especially on slippery surfaces. It is always important to be aware of your floor conditions that you are operating on and always look ahead to make sure that you won't be heading into any water spots or patches of ice. And that's our five safety tips for operating the electric pallet jack. I'm Chris, thank you for watching, and this is the end of our tutorial. Here at Belmar, we train for the future. I'm Robert, together we build careers. So let's take training to a higher level. Now, let's operate the electric pallet jack.